the dimension of a vector space. If a vector space has a basis including n vectors, then we say that the dimension of that vector space is equal to n. Please note that if your vector space has only zero vector, by convention, the dimension is zero. Some examples for you. The dimension of real line is one. The dimension of plane is two. The dimension of the space is three. The dimension of Euclidean space is n. So it has n tuples. You're going to get n linearly independent vectors. The dimension of the space of polynomials with less than degree less than 2 or equal to 2 p sub 2 is equal to, here you have three, remember that. For this one, S is one, X and X two. So you get one, two, and three, V one, V two, and V three. They're linearly independent from each other and they form a basis for this vector space. So you have three members, three elements. The dimension of P3 must be 4 because S includes 1x, x squared, and x cubed by definition, right? More examples. Suppose we want to find the basis for three by three diagonal matrices in real field. So in this case, we can define a set S to be included one zero 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 zero. This is your first matrix. The second one is zero zero zero. 0, 1, 0, and 0, 0, 0, and the third matrix. You have 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, and 0, 0, 1. These three matrices, they are all linearly independent from each other. Yeah. Well, any diagonal matrix, as you remember, the diagonal matrix has only scalar on its main diagonal. Can be written as a linear combination of these three vectors. So here you can write any diagonal matrix A0, 0, 0, B0, 0, 0, 0, C as A multiplied by 1, 0, 0. Just keep saying zeros. It's B times 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0. And finally, C multiplied by the last vector you're saying vector, but these are representing objects. Don't think about just vectors in calculus. These vectors are mathematical objects.